The exhaust is good. It's got no dents in it anywhere. There is rust along the top of that. I have to have a good look at. Um, that mount is sort of split along there, so I have to look. At it. It's under pressure too, so it's not mounted quite right. That one there, I can't see what's going on at this stage, but it ends up being not even connected. The front's good. It's clean. The rust is not too much. There's a worry. There's one bolt on the right and one stud on the left, and there should be two studs. So inside there, the carbon's not too bad. I'm happy enough with that. But why are there horizontal lines on that piston? They should never be horizontal. With vertical scratches, I understand, not horizontal. Anyway, I'll have to deal with that. Anyway, the carbon there, that's quite light. That Oh, then the other end, that looks about what I'd expect to see. A bit oilier, that's gone a bit rusty, but I'd expect it to see like that. You can see that at the very end, the perforated holes there, that's for the double lining to take the tin out of the exhaust. There's that big stud, it's, it's sorry, big bolt, it's way bigger than that stud, that's a problem. I think the exhaust is good on that side, the side you can't normally see. Now my idea to clean it out is, is to get a bit of wire like that and put a clamp on there to stop it from fraying out. But that clamp's already fully closed, I can't do that, so I have to come up with a better idea. My idea is just to put tape around it and then sort of get the wire pieces and wrap them around a nut. That's just a nut off a, um, a valve stem for, for the inner tube. And I'll just, wi uh, just wrap the, the wire around that nut and that should then stop when the drill's on there, turning it around, rattling around inside there. That should then, hopefully, stop it from undoing all the way back to the drill. So that's my idea at this rate. The reason why I'm going this way is that the pipe is dry inside and, it, and it's just it's not oiled up so I, the, the, you'd bring the uh, oven cleaner and stuff in there, I don't think it's really the way to go with this one, I just sort of a clean out is what more it wants instead of, instead of an oven cleaning and I don't think there's much carb, oil in there, carbon to clean out like that. Also, I'm not that interested in cleaning out those perforations in there. If those perforations stay blocked with rust or whatever, that's good by me. It just, it's just an interference to the set. pulses going backwards and forwards. So if you can call it expansion chamber, I don't know. But it, it perforates, perforated tube or the lining in there can stay blocked as far as I'm concerned. Now we can see what sort of damage I can do with this thing. Come on. first inspection shows that something's happening, I guess I just got to do a lot more of it. One thing that was happening though is that the, the long strands were wrapping themselves around, sort of turning themselves into a bit of a ball, so my second idea is maybe if I just cut them a bit shorter though, just sort of stay more splayed as they spin around and not try and roll back back into, into a ball or just a long string.
I'm happy with that. That's doing a good job. Bit of a clean out inside there, and that'll be all the way up and around. I, I'm, that's cool. It works. And look down the perforation there. That's clean down there. That's, I'm happy with that. I also have to repair that damage I did at the end of the pipe trying to get that suspension bolt out. So just had to hunt it around to a socket that was roughly the right size to fit in there. And just worked on it just gently until I could get that socket to fit and then make it all nice and round. Good enough. This is the front exhaust mount, the one that was sort of like opened up on two sides. It's, it's holding together well, so it doesn't want to come apart. There's no point pulling it apart and re-gluing it. So the idea here is I'll just sort of clean it up, open it up, and push push that same silicon stuff I use for the indicators into the gap there. Let it close up, let it dry, and that should be good as new. That's the idea anyway. When I put this back together, I'm going to have to take a little close attention to exactly how those mounts sit, how the exhaust fits. Do it all up loose, bring it in tighter, bring it in tighter, so eventually the pipe is sitting there in its happy spot because expansion chambers will break anything if they're not sitting well, but they're going to vibrate, fine revs, and it causes problems. Now, this is both done, one's completely glued together and the other one's repaired. I'm going to put this exhaust away now, it's being done. Look, I'm happy with how it's turned out and I think I got lucky as far as how much carbon wasn't inside there. And thinking about that, it's probably because it's the Yami Auto Lube, it mixes a few less for idle and more for when you're revving it. I'm hoping that's it, or it's got some sort of lean-out problem that made it extra hot to burn it out there, I don't know. I also, I oiled it with a, with a Penetrol. It will probably burn away to about here where it gets double-skinned. Um, once it gets double-skinned there, you can see there's perforation in there. Hopefully they put um, steel wool between there, not, not something else, like a, um, a rock wool or something like that. Anyway, it'll, it'll burn away here and it'll get rusty and I'll just let it fend for itself. I'm happy with that. Now, both of these engine mounts, you've seen the way I fixed that one up. That engine mount, that's fine, unavailable. So if I was to get, buy one, it'd have to be new old stock. So I've got the same problem. It's already old and, and, and dried out. This one here, this one was actually completely broken off and I had to pull it apart, clean it all up cleaned it up and glued it back together and stuck it but it, it's good now and will dry out better by the time I get to use this um, this side here is, is oiled, the whole lot is oiled but I rubbed that right back so so it's just so it's just going to be there I don't think that'll that'll get too hot there so it'll stay, my main concern was up here where it was really rusted and that I've just left there but this I sort of matted back so either way I think I got lucky with this exhaust as far as being um, as far as being, uh, yeah, as far as being clean inside. Now, it's light, and that's the big thing. If you was to get one of these, they would normally, hear that? They would normally, when you get them, they would normally be really heavy and dull inside, but this one's not, so it's just not packed full of oil. So the clean out I did it, it will do the job. What I'm not happy about is that stud. I tried to take the nut off that stud and they just snapped off. So I'm going to get new studs for it. But this one here, that's got the, the big extra size bolt in there, which means I can't helicoil it anymore. When I've got the barrel off, I have a good look at that. And that could cause me some problems. I've yet to see. But as far as that goes, the pipe I'm happy with.